All right, here we are looking at NSRS. This is the 30-minute chart. Uh, the last time we did, I think, a couple days ago, we looked at the 60-minute. Uh, but I want to look at the 30-minute as I think it does a good job of pointing out what we want to see happen going forward. Now, obviously, today was very rough, um, and everything happened basically within a half-an-hour period. And then from there, uh, this is where the bounce started. Got this hammer candle, and then kind of just went back in the little channel for the remainder of the day. But before we really even talk about today's action, what I want to do first is go back and just look at what happened the last time the chart fell apart, which was back here. Uh, so this isn't the first time that the uh, you know the stocks had a real nasty day, but I want you to notice what happened. It fell, and then when it bounced, it never put in any lower lows. It did sink back down here, but you can see that relative to how far down it went, it never really even got close to going as far down as where it had previously went, and then you know obviously just went into console consolation consolidation excuse me and then obviously made this uptrend move so keep in mind and just using the past history uh, the first and main thing we want to see is this low down here hold up now I'm not saying it can't get tested because just because the other low didn't get tested um, that doesn't translate into this one not you know being okay to have it tested but ideally uh, we don't want to see this low, which was at 75 cent tested. But if it does get tested, then for sure, no excuses. This level has to hold, or else I think the chart and play is, you know, really going to be in quite a bit of trouble. Uh, the other level of support that did a good job holding pretty much all day today was right here, this orange line, which is a 200 period simple moving average. Right now, that's valued at 87 cents. You can see here provided some support. Uh, here once again so 87 and 75 are going to be the two key levels of support uh, but if you were to ask me what would be the best case scenario you know I wouldn't mind seeing it come down here consolidate a little bit more before heading back up and then starting to get into you know another little uptrend move like this where it make highs lower high or lower low higher high lower low and so forth but um, you know that's where it currently stands right now resistance wise uh, I'm not even going to talk about that because at this point in time, that's not important. The important thing is, uh, is this play still healthy? Are they going to try to, you know, bounce it like uh, the previous time? But the easiest way to figure that out is just to simply watch these supports and see how it unfolds. So uh, resistances aren't really too important at this time. It's it's more key to see how the price is going to react now uh, in regards to these support levels. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. With your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together on our alerts, so I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was NSRS. Thanks for listening.